Thank you for joining us for our devotion today. I would encourage you to read the close of the commandments aloud along with me. What does God say about all these commandments? He says, I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of their fathers to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. What does this mean? God threatens to punish all who break these commandments. Therefore, we should fear His wrath and not do anything against them. But He promises grace and every blessing to all who keep these commandments. Therefore, we should also love and trust in Him and gladly do what He commands. You know that God chooses to reveal Himself to us through His Word. It's kind of like when you pick up somebody else's diary. You are discovering their deepest expressions of longing. And that's a lot like when we open God's Word. And, and the Ten Commandments are no exception to this. In the Ten Commandments, we hear more than God just saying, I need this, you should do this. But, but behind the commandments, we hear Him saying, here is a little something about me. And this is something that, that we all know to be true. When we ask a friend, for example, to call us, to, to stop calling us this awful nickname, we aren't merely saying, don't do that. We aren't giving them merely a command. But there's always something implicit behind that, that command, such as, that nickname hurts me, or I don't like to be associated with that, or I prefer to be called this instead. You see, under that commandment that, that we give to that friend regarding that nickname is actually a self-revelatory statement. And this holds true for nearly every command that, that we offer. And it holds true for God as well. God doesn't merely issue these commandments because He likes them. He thinks it's fun to, to tell people to do this. He doesn't enjoy barking orders. He gives these commandments out of a self-revealing love. At the close of the commandments, we learn many, many important things. And in fact, throughout all the commandments, we learn many important things about who God is. Take, for example, the statement that we've repeated this week at the close of the commandments, that God is showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. Think about that. What is God revealing to us through that? A thousand generations. It, it, it's an ambiguous term, but it, it must at least mean tens of thousands of years. And, and so what God is communicating through this statement is He is pointing us towards this limitless love that passes on to innumerable descendants. God is showing us that His love only grows with time. His love is not a finite resource, but it grows exponentially as His people grow. One of the most fascinating things about this is, unbeknownst to the Israelites who heard these words first, God at that time, as He spoke them, already knew about His growing love. He already knew about His love that would expand along with them. God already knew that His growing love would cause Him to send His Son to die on the cross so that He might reconcile this Israelite people to Himself. But God also knew that there would come a time that is recorded for us in the book of Acts that not even His own people could contain His love as it expands and grows. So it burst forth into other nations as well. First, we discover in Acts that it burst forth to Cornelius, that, that Gentile centurion and all his family, when they received the Holy Spirit. And this was so startling that the early church, those Jews at that time, they couldn't fathom this exponential growth of God's love as it exploded now across the generations of the Gentiles. His divine and steadfast love continues 
to be propagated even among us today. And so in this expression, God continues to show us His amazing and unfathomable love and continues to reveal us, reveal to us how loving He is. And so I want to close with, with this question. What other things have you learned about God uh, as you have studied these commandments? What other things have you learned about God as, as you have studied these commandments? And now I would invite you to please pray with me. Lord God, in your holy jealousy, you will not share us with any false gods. Unite our hearts to fear your wrath and never disobey your commandments. And so incur the punishment we deserve. Enable us to love and trust in you above all things, that by your grace we might receive the blessings you promise to those who keep your commandments. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.